Okay, so in this video we're going to review how to measure volume and also how to get the volume of something or the mass of something by displacement. So measuring volume, you remember that volume is the amount of space occupied by an object or the amount of space something takes up. So you've probably learned this before, but let's just review. So if it's a regular solid like a cube or a rectangular solid, um, all you're going to do is you're going to take length times width times height, okay? So in this example, all of the sides are the same, so you're going to do 5 times 5 times 5. So that's just going to be um, 5 times 5 is 25, 25 times 5 is 125. And don't forget you're going to multiply the units also. So centimeters times centimeters times centimeters is centimeters cubed. Just like if you had an x times x times x, that would be x cubed, same thing here. Okay. So if you're going to measure the volume of a liquid, you're going to use a graduated cylinder. Make sure you read those super carefully. Um, there's a whole video on that, so I'm not going to go into that. But I am going to talk about the volume of an irregular solid meaning something that you can't measure the sides of and multiply, okay? So we're gonna have to use something called water displacement method. So like, say we're trying to measure the volume of a marble, okay? So what you would do is you would get a graduated cylinder, you'd put some water in there, and we're gonna just say that this is 16 milliliters of water, okay? And then you would plop your marble in there, and then the water's gonna go up, right? Just like if you hop in the bathtub or if you hop in, you and your friends hop in a swimming pool, the water level's gonna go up. So let's say this water level goes up and it goes up to 24. Can you think of how you might solve this? Like, how do you figure out how much space that marble takes up? Because that's what volume is, right? Volume is how much space something takes up. If you said subtract, you'd be right. All you're gonna do is take 24 minus 16 and the answer would be 8 milliliters, okay? Here's another example. We're going to try to um, measure the volume of this crown. So you have, you read the water level before you put the crown in, you dunk it under, the volume's going to go up. So this is 2,000 milliliters. You dunk it, 2,300 milliliters, okay? So the difference would be 300 milliliters. Not bad. We're going to talk about one more thing and then we're done. Um, you might have a situation where you need to do this same concept with mass. I mean, let's think about it. How would you take the, vol or the mass of a liquid? You can't pour a liquid on a scale, right? It's going to run right off. So here's a scale, okay? So in order to take the mass, of a liquid, I have to first put a something on there to contain it. So I'm going to put the flask on here, and then I'm going to weigh the flask. By the by itself, the flask weighs 136.38 grams. Remember, when you're measuring on a scale, you need two decimal places. Then I fill the the flask up. The flask with the the liquid in there is going to weigh 467.18 grams. Do you think you know how to figure out how much the liquid weighs? Well, if you said subtract again, you'd be right. You just subtract those two numbers and you would get 330.80 grams. Not that bad. Just a little subtracting. I did want to do the video just to make sure that you guys thought through the process and had a visual example for it, okay? If you have any questions, bring them to class.